What is going on guys, Ty here, and today we uh, we're going to be trying to get some villagers going so we can get an automatic iron farm and potentially build ourselves the uh, enchantment tower. So as the last episode we decided to go and explore the nether, we found a nether fortress eventually. It took, it took a little bit of time to try and find because we tried every direction except the direction that it was actually in. Because that's always what happens with me, I always try and run off in di other directions in, except in the direction that I actually need to go. So let's hop straight into it where today we are gonna yeah, try and find ourselves it. Well, we're gonna go to the village. We're gonna try and drag a couple of villages over and we're gonna try and build an automatic iron farm, which is gonna be a little bit interesting to do, but it, it's definitely doable. So G at the minute is there, there he is, hello. And uh, yeah, we've been breeding like a million chickens. We've been, we've been doing quite a few things offline. As you can see, I've got now three pickaxes on me because we've been uh, we've been trying to well I've been trying to build a kind of like a large scale smeltery system well starting to build a large scale smeltery system underneath the storage room so I'll just give you a quick little uh, sneaky peek of what is under there well it's not not much at the minute so we just kind of come in here well, I'm just gonna drop off the cobblestone a second yes yeah, so we're gonna come in here and at the minute it's just stairs down and then this is where we're starting but at the minute we've encountered where the uh the nether portal is which is kind of annoying because i did want to kind of push all the way back but i'll just make do and then probably put like a granite outcrop lining thing around here and then just build down even more because i'm gonna have like a map I think my idea is to kind of have like a massive almost like cavern kind of thing and make it a d very like dwarven style. That's kind of the uh, idea that I'm having. Whether I'm actually going to be able to do that kind of thing is another question because uh, it is very questionable. I don't know if how good my building skills are in terms of dwarven. But I'll give it a shot. I will definitely give it a shot. So, uh... Let's go and uh, try and find, well, go and get us some villagers. I'll catch you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm back. So we have um, oh, the bamboos in the way, so you can't see. You can see kind of like this, uh, the stairs there and a little bit of thing coming into view a little bit because of the bamboos hiding us. Let me just eat a sec. There you go. So as you can see here, edgy. As you can see here, we've uh, built the iron farm. Ignore the water elevator, that was my first attempt to try to get a zombie up, so I ended up building this staircase up. Yeah, so here we're gonna be building a whole bunch of uh, rail to uh, get some villagers and uh, bring them to the farm, so that way we can, so we can, uh, what was I saying? So we can get the farm going and uh, hopefully get some iron on the production. So I'll catch you guys in just a sec when we have finished the line and start bringing some villages over. Be right back. Two thousand years later. All right, guys, I am back, and uh, we've been. It's, it's been many, many, many hours trying to get this done because one of the villages that I went to to go get the villagers was about two hundred blocks away, which is not too bad, but there were only three villages and one of them was one of the uh, ones with the, the green poncho kind of thing so it means that they couldn't take a job which is one that I don't want they have to have a job in order for it to work so it needs to be a regular village really regular villager and the next nearest one was over 800 blocks away so I ended up having to make a ridiculously long minecart track to go get it I would have shown you the footage, but it took me, well, I started this at about, what did I say, about three o'clock this afternoon-ish. I'm currently re I'm currently doing this, recording this segment at 10 to one in the morning. So yeah, it's, it's taken a while to build, gather resources, get the villager and get the zombie all up in the right spot and if we go this way and turn boom there it is there is the full-on iron golem farm where we are generating iron if we check this chest here ta-da we are getting the iron 
and the poppies. And if we leave it for a while, we should be getting every uh, 32 items. That's what I've set the timer for. I could have set it for a little faster, but I said it as half a stack. Half a stack should be fine. So yeah, the half stack's going. And uh, as you can see with the big fireball there, that is the iron golems. And so yeah, we've got our iron production online. So if we just wait for a second and any second now, any second now, come on. Is it still burning? Is this so easy? Well, I do. Well, they do have like 200 health. No, you don't die. Maybe it's just taking a while to come through. Uh, let's have a look. So maybe no, no, whatever. Uh, whatever. They don't always drop it, but it's fine. It's a fully AFK farm now, so we've got that just going. So yeah, we've now got a steady source of iron for when we need it. I will probably. There you go. There's the iron gun. We just saw him drop off there. Nice. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've spent the past, like, six hours on trying to get it done. It could have been a bit quicker had I've actually built it, my starting spawn location inside, like, nearby a village. Because as you can see on this map, th there's no village nearby. Absolutely no village nearby. So, uh, yeah. So my challenge now is to maybe bring a couple of villagers here. I might bring two villagers and literally just two villagers and then start breeding them from that. Either that or I might grab, like try and breed. No. Yeah, no. I should have taken those two, built a little house and then make a breeding house. I should have done it like that, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just make sure all these maps are up to date. I have a thing with making sure my maps are up to date. Whenever I like destroy a tree or whatever, I'm always like, make sure the map's up to date, make sure the map's up to date. Just because I want to make, like, see my world grow. Yeah, this is, this is done, done a decent amount. Yeah, as you can see, I've now decided to put more of crafting benches down because we have loads of crafting benches. So it'll be fabulous for when we actually get around to, you know, getting the villagers. So what I might do, is build a water highway to the village and then start breeding some of the villagers at the village and then bring them down until I get some enchanted golden apples which are really hard to come by but it's fine and we we like the music just 13 uh, whatever whatever yeah that's that's what I spent a long long time doing but uh, yeah it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Right, I need food. I need lots of food. Where is the food? I'm going to take half, half of the steak that's there. I'm going to go breed the cows and the chickens. Steak seems to be like one of the better foods to do. So let me just go grab the... I could just harvest it. Should I harvest it? Nah. I'll use what's in the in the chest just so that we can empty out some of the space because the chest is getting rather full and by rather full I mean it is basically full so I'm going to take a stack of that I'm going to take uh, that I'm going to take two stacks of seeds so then we can breed mass breed chickens and I want to fill up that pen with chickens let's go let's just let's just Spam breed the chickens. Spam breed the chickens. I think that's all the chickens. Hopefully. I have no idea how many of these are actually bred and how many of them are not bred. But we, we shall find out in just a sec. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Keep breeding, my lovely chickens. Now time for the cows. This is this is giving me a lot of experience, can I just say? Are, are they all bred? Are they all bred? You're not, you're not, you're not. Be you up. I think that's it for the cows as well. But yeah, twenty I've got now twenty levels of experience. 
which I might go and use in a second. Uh, yeah, so we've got the iron farm. So is that one of my things? Make an iron farm. Yes, it is. Hi. Hey, we got one thing off the board done. But I should probably change it now to make a gold farm. That's my next job is number eight dot build a, ooh, a, ooh, a gold farm that is the next one now is making a gold farm hey, hey right but yeah that is one one uh farm done so I really wish, like, um, there was a mob that had a chance, like, a, even if it was just a very small chance of dropping, like, a diamond, that would be cool. But that, again, then that would be kind of overpowered, because people would just mass build this one particular farm. Which, yeah. So, but it, it would be cool, but it would just be pointless. It would make farming for diamonds just stupid. Unless they do that in the nether update, because the next ore that they're adding in the nether update is technically stronger than diamond and it's better because it doesn't burn in lava which is a good thing so yeah uh, let me just take the rail out of it I'll take the detect rail out as well parallel activator we've got all the kinds of rail here damn damn son we got all the rail in here I could have taken some shears because I know there is some um... what's on my boots Ooh, everything's nearly dead. I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take all the iron stuff. I don't know why G just keeps leaving his old things in here. So like just make and combine it. Doesn't matter if you lose it because you're gonna. You know, it doesn't make a difference. Whatever. I'm just clearing up space in the thingy by combining. I'll just combine it with the brand new boots as well. May as well. May as well, man, may as well. Just just trying to clear up space. Because these chests are full and I haven't finished doing the, the uh, sorting system yet. Not sorting system. Storage system. It's kind of a sorting system, but no, it's not a sorting system. It's a storage system. Yeah, the storage system isn't quite finished. And as I said, I want to try and make that a uh, large scale... Uh, furnace system underneath here which that's gonna spawn mobs so uh, that, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that but yeah we are slowly slowly but surely uh, getting there with what we need to do so uh, yeah this is gonna be a fantastic uh, thing to try and do now so uh, I'm just gonna throw these eggs because the egg chest is um a little bit busy just a, just a little bit busy I might have to empty the eggs but we, yeah we need leather we need leather to make more signs so uh, that'll probably be the next thing on the list and building under here so I'll probably clear the space out from under here off camera because that will probably bore you guys to death watching me do this but I want to make a nice big open space and then just build like a massive smeltery system make it look cool as well well try and make it look cool because my artistic skills is crap but this is well this is my artistic skills even putting like the little decorate decorative leaves that's probably as artsy and fart artsy fartsy as you'll get like yeah, I could follow like a tutorial on YouTube, but then it's not my build. I, I want to learn how to build. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm just going to watch a YouTuber because that's not how you learn how to build. You actually have to make it up yourself and then just be like, oh, actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this. Like, I'm probably going to end up adding a few more pieces of the mossy cobblestone here and there when I find it. I'm probably going to end up adding some smooth stone in places. It's just going to be like little things here and there that I'm going to add in, change things, tweak things. Just see how the series goes on, really. But yeah, I think I will call it there for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Ding dong that bell so you know, get notified of when my videos go live for you. And then also, guys, 
come and join my discord when i'm not live streaming or recording videos then you can come chill with me talk to me do whatever and speaking of live streaming i live stream pretty much every single day on mixer over at mixer.com last to last to do every day from about 5 p.m uk time that is 5 p.m guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next video until then have a great rest of your day peace out Yeah, I'm that grain of sand that made it out the ocean, uh